Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Coming up this week... We'll stop working. <music> Starting off the news this week, a new study published in the journal Nature Astronomy has suggested that some of Earth's water actually originated from the Sun. The idea is that particles of mostly hydrogen atoms were carried by asteroids to Earth after being emitted by the Sun. The asteroids then crashed into the Earth, depositing more of the essential building blocks for water, which, of course, was an essential building block for life on Earth. Scientists have spent a long time trying to work out why Earth seems to have such an unusual abundance of water. And this paper certainly doesn't go all the way to explain all of the excess water that is on Earth with other ideas still holding sway, and there will be doubtless more studies on this subject published in the future. Also in the news this week is the naming of a new species of ankylosaur, Tarkia tumanove. This dinosaur comes from Upper Cretaceous rocks in Mongolia, and is now the third species of Tarkia to be named. What's particularly interesting about the specimen that this new taxon is based on though, is the fact that injuries on its ribs and tail are interpreted as evidence of antagonistic behaviour. Notably, the tail club of this individual is actually asymmetrical, thought to be due to the restricted bone growth caused by the club being used to strike things, a fascinating record of ancient dinosaur behaviour. Additionally, the beak of this new ankylosaur is protruding and shovel-shaped, indicating that this was a selective feeder, not a bulk feeder like some early ankylosaurs were, with the paper explaining how this shift of niches may have been due to habitat changes and competition with different bulk feeding herbivores. And now over to Ben, who doesn't really know what he's talking about. Thank you, Ben. Well, that's it for this week's 7 Days of Science. I do hope you enjoyed, and as always, we'll see you on Sunday. <laughs>